Okay, with the holidays right around the corner, I wanted to share some of my favorite cottagecore gift suggestions. This could be a gift for you or for that cottagecore person in your life. With some of these, I might be naming specific brands, but there are a lot of other ones out there. You can probably find this secondhand or from an Etsy seller or small business if that's your preference. So one of my first suggestions, and actually something that's on my own wish list, is the mushroom mug that World Market is selling right now. It has such a cute little mushroom lid, and I just love it. I know a lot of people have been going crazy about it. It's a very inexpensive gift, and I think it's so cute and works for pretty much everyone, no matter who the person is. Another lovely option that you can give as well is a woodland sweater. I found a few different options. So there's one from James Kilpatrick, and then I also found one by this UK brand called Joni. I actually own the James Kilpatrick sweater myself, and it is very warm and wonderful. I love it so much. It also comes in a more masculine fit, a feminine fit, and then also a dress. So I really love that, but you can find some other similar ones out there if you're looking for something a little less expensive. This is that sweater, by the way. I love the pattern on it, and it's really nice because it's wool, so it's super warm. Another great option is to get them a apron. What kind of style can be up to you based on their specific tastes. I would suggest like a linen apron. I have this wonderful one that is just so cute. It's a linen apron dress, but also there's so many different cute aprons that you can find on Etsy or on other retailers. This is perfect for someone who really loves to cook. Another great option that I've mentioned a few times before on my channel is Planting for Honeybees. I really love this book because it is a gardening guide for every kind of person, no matter what kind of living situation you have. So it has things for rooftop gardens, patios, windowsill gardens, and a more just standard garden as well. So I think this works really well for people in all sorts of living situations who are interested in getting into gardening. Another great gift is a crafting set, like a beginning crafting set. I love the Wool and the Gang knitting sets. This includes everything you need to know to begin your first knitting project and it's really nice that they have things for different skill levels on their website as well. So if you are just starting out or your person that you're buying for is a more seasoned knitter, they can definitely find something there for them. If they're not into knitting, they also have like crocheting. There are a few other places that also sell similar sort of knitting sets that have everything you need for a project. You can also find this for a lot of other types of crafts, like I found this embroidery set at Barnes & Noble that I'm getting as a gift for a family member, but there are all sorts of things like this out now, and it's a really, really great gift to give someone because you could be giving them a new lifelong love for a craft or just a fun little project to try. If you're looking to give a smaller gift to someone, maybe a stocking stuffer, I would suggest a jar of local honey or homemade jam. These really, like this category, really there's so many different options and you're able to sum support small businesses or make something yourself if that's more your sort of thing. It's just such a cute handmade gesture. I've received homemade jam before and it's always so wonderful to make my morning toast and use the jam that someone made for me and I just love it so much. Doing a homemade jam can also be a little bit cheaper if you're willing to put the time in to make it. Doing a homemade jam batch can really give you the option to make several gifts for, for people and do it on a bit of a budget while it's still very thoughtful and nice gift to receive. Another wonderful gift to receive is a leaf or flower press. This one I actually thrifted, but I'm sure you can find something very similar if you look around online or in stores for specific crafting stores. 
This just makes it so much easier to press your own leaves or flowers and it doesn't take as much time as the book or air drying method. I really enjoy this because I can make homemade cards and other crafts with the leaves and flowers once they're done. Another item that really is essential for every cottagecore person to have, and if they don't already have this, oh, stop eating my plant! No, sorry about that. <laughs> he likes to eat plants, but it's not good for him. But as I was saying, another great gift for every cottagecore person, if they don't already own it, is a kettle, either an electric kettle, a copper kettle, any sort of kettle, or a teapot. You wouldn't believe how many people are still microwaving the water for their tea, which is, in my opinion, just gross. Like, no shame to you if you want to do it that way, but I just, just please consider getting a kettle or teapot. Just consider it. But they can be so cute. These are very easy items to thrift if that's something you're into and you're on more of a budget. Like I have this one that I thrifted that I really love to use for making large batches of tea. And I also have just a standard metal kettle as well. Another lovely gift to consider getting for your cottagecore friend or for yourself is the cottage box. Not sponsored or anything, I did try this out several months ago and I really enjoyed that the items it came in. And it does source items from small businesses into the box, so it's really a great way to get them some unique items without having to do a lot of searching if that's what you're into. It, it also comes really nicely packaged, so it's a great gift without having to do too much extra wrapping or anything with that too. Another gift suggestion is some sticker sheets. I have some I picked up from Cozy Curiosities. They have some very cute sticker sheets with different themes. I really love a lot of the things she has on her store. And she has a few other more cottage quarry options as well if that's what you're into. You can find a lot of these sort of things on Etsy from other just small artists who are making their own stickers and it's really cute. I love these for journaling, for my calendar, for decorating. I find that like this is a pretty universal gift that you can give to almost anyone as long as you know that they're a little more of a crafty sort of person who enjoys stickers. My last suggestion is a cottagecore scent candle. You can find a lot of these if you look specifically on Etsy and search like cottagecore candle. But you can also just go into any store that sells candles and just follow your nose and get things that you think really match the cottage core aesthetic. I have one here from, from Book and Revere called Cottage Witch. This is a woodwick candle that smells like antique wood, fresh bread, and honey. I really think that this is like exactly to me what cottage core should smell like. It smells so nice and I just, I love this sort of candle so much. Of course, I would also say that like anything that's like honey scented, lavender, florals, warm scents are very good for like a more cottage core aesthetic. And if you wrap it up in a cute little bow and maybe add some like nice little decorations on the top if the jar is not super cottage core. I think it can be a very nice slightly DIY half-made gift. I'll be putting links for my specific suggestions down in the description. I really hope that all of these were helpful for you and you're able to get the perfect gift for that person in your life or even if that person is yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider liking or subscribing if you enjoyed this video.